Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Yard. Thanks for stopping by today. Today's tip is for pitchers once again and involves fielding bunts. Now we're going to use this line here and we're going to represent this line as the, the first base line in first base. So uh, home plate would be down in this area here. First base would be where you were watching uh, from the camera angle there. And so a pitcher is going to be coming from this angle towards the foul line to field it, to pick it up, and to make the throw to first base. Now, one problem that we run into is when the ball is close to the foul line, we have the problem of the runner sometimes being directly in our line when we make the throw to first base. Now, a lot of pitchers are taught to get a better angle to first base after they field this ground ball near the line to come back in fair territory in order to clear the runner so that they can make that throw to first base. But in reality, that's a very tough play, particularly because a pitcher is hopefully flying off the mound, jumping on the ball like a cat, and he has to, with full momentum, get to the ball, stop his momentum, back up in fair territory, and then make the throw to first base. That is a very difficult thing to do. What I practice with my pitchers is to use their momentum and don't stop their momentum. Let their momentum carry into foul territory which is going to automatically create the angle without you having to physically stop your momentum, start it again backwards, and then make the throw. So if I'm a pitcher and I'm a right-hander and I'm flying off this mound, approaching the first base foul line on this bunt, if I'm moving hard, I continue to move to field the ball, I continue to move in foul territory, and then I make my throw to first base in foul territory. Of course, the first baseman has to be pretty quick with his footwork. He's probably gonna set up on the inside part of the bag, but when, he, when you practice this, the first baseman gets used to noticing you going in the foul territory and having to jump on this side. So it does require some quick footwork on the part of the first baseman to make that adjustment, but you'll find that it's an easier play for the pitcher because he doesn't have to stop his motion. And of course, there's nothing in the rule book that says a pitcher has to back up and stay in fair territory. So usually catching that ball, crossing in the foul territory, and making that throw to the foul side of the bag is much better, much easier, and the, the bun play to first base is much more effective as a result. But it's another thing that you have to practice. Oftentimes pitchers will not do it themselves. You have to explain it to them and have them practice. And the off season is a great time to do that. All right, folks, this is Coach McCurry signing off. Until next time, have a great day, everybody. Keep working hard.